on this video, as Jeremiah's playing, you're not going to see me. I'm not camera ready today, but uh, what I want to do, we want to look at some different things while people are talking. Because one of the problems that I see in churches a lot is that when a person is speaking, as musicians, we have to set the atmosphere to whatever they're speaking, bring it to life. So the musician plays a very important role into bringing whatever the person speaking, being able to bring that to life. So we got Jeremiah Chaney. We blessed with his presence in the studio. Uh, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to start off with a word of prayer, and then I'm going to have him just play a little bit. And then I'm going to start speaking, maybe do announcements and stuff like that, so like you would do at your church. Father God, we come right now in the name of Jesus, just saying thank you once more and again, Father, knowing that you're great in all your ways, Father God. We come and just want to give you praise one more time, Father God, for waking us up this morning, starting us on our way, Father. We truly do love you and just want to say thank you and ask that the anointing, Father God, that the Holy Spirit be in this video, but Father, be in the teaching, Father God, help us, Father, to be able to understand your ways, Father God, so that we can become better stewards, better Christians. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we're asking, Father God, that this teaching go forth, Father God, that the musician watching this will never be the same, Father. We're asking right now, your loving son, Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. And so with that being said, if you notice, Jeremiah's approach is very graceful. He's not overpowering. He didn't overpower me when I was praying. So one of the things we can look at, uh, Jeremiah, I'm going to kind of turn this over to you, is maybe not overpowering the person talking. Um, so um, one thing um, I like to do, uh, pause real quick. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. Be at Music Ministry. I'm always going to say it. Please do it. You get all these <laughs> tips in there. Uh, <laughs> We back. Uh, so um, one thing I always try to do is remember that um, um, when playing, especially like playing talk music, um, um, it's kind of like creating the mold or creating the. I know we like to say vibe, but you know, making sure the room, you know the room is the room feels good. Uh, so with that being said, like you're never really gonna, at least for me anyway, you're never really gonna hear me do. Unless, I'll put it this way, unless you are musically inclined to the average person, you're not going to hear me do anything that's special. You're just going to think, wow, that sounds pretty. Um, and that's that's ultimately, for me, that's the goal is to, you know, make it real, make it sound pretty in layman's terms. Um, um, I don't have anything, you know, special in mind, you know, just most of the time, you know, just playing what I like to call, you know, like matters of the heart, like whatever you feel, like melodies that you hear, um, just playing it in a way that's, you know, it's not obstructive to, you know, you know, what the preacher is trying to do or what the, the moment of the room or what's going on in the room at, you know, any particular time. Um, if you ever have like a favorite song, um, I know a lot of people like to do this song. Um, I think it's like, Lord, you are good. Been so good. Like songs like that. So let me let me do an example. So let's just say they just announced the preacher to come up and you're still playing, you know what I'm saying? That's just a song you're already playing. So let's just kind of see how you would approach it, maybe even a little different. So right now we're bringing the pastor of New Life up to the podium as we, church, give a hand of praise to God for bringing this message up. Amen. Put your hands together, church. Greetings, greetings, everybody. I want to thank everyone for joining us on this Sunday morning. On this Sunday morning, it's a very special Sunday morning because it's a day we've never seen, a day that we'll never see again. But this is the day that the Lord has made. And I don't know about you, but we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, come on, church. You ought to do better than that. This is not for me. You ought to be able to rejoice and be glad in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Now, if you notice, Jeremiah matched every single time I got loud, he was loud. When I went back soft, he went back soft. One of the things, now, can we show them an example maybe of a wrong way of people kind of just playing and not really noticing? 
So this is the day that the Lord has made. And then people just kind of still just, oh, come on. This is the day that the Lord has made. And then you still got people just kind of just, you're not really setting the tone of what I'm trying to go, where I'm trying to go. But now we're going to do it the right way. This is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, come on. You ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, come on. Put your hands together, church. So if you notice, he matched my tone. And then when I went back soft, like I just went back soft now, he went back to playing softly. How many times have you seen that done wrong in church? <laughs> I will be honest. <laughs> oh, uh, and this is this is my honest, this is the honest to God truth. Um, since I, I grew up, um, uh, my musical palette, or even just like spiritually, like my palette of knowing what to do where in church is very experienced because I grew up with a father that was a pastor. You see me too. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of times, like, whenever we grow up in church, you know, we know. The moment. We know yeah. we know what it's supposed Like, we automatically know in our mind, like, hey, like, if he's getting louder, you know, I need to get loud. Or, like, the general rule of thumb is, is, like, whenever you're in a church, um, let's say, so more a more traditional style, like, especially, like, holiness church, Baptist church, like, more your tradition your traditional predominantly black churches. Um, whenever the leader gets up, um, it's just, I don't know why, but it's always been a thing. Like whenever the leader gets up, like like as, as he's getting up, as they're introducing him, like it, you gotta be real theatrical, real big. So, uh, like stuff like that. Uh, I don't know why, but um, it's always kind of been like a thing. Like um, I grew up um, like Church of God in Christ. So uh, my dad would always play like this CD. Uh, I think it's called, uh, I know it was by Bishop Gilbert Earl Patterson. And um, it's like, it might've been having church with the saints or the old time way is one of those. Yeah, but yeah. while they were introducing him, I forget who was playing organ. It might've been like Derek Jackson or somebody like that. But um, like while they were introducing him, it was like, like this man, like it's like it's it's like something you would hear in a movie score, like in, yeah, like in a film yeah. almost. So yeah. um, from that moment on, you know, it kind of made me, you know, wanted to decide like, hey, I don't want to just like be really good at church. Like I want to be like, uh, I guess you could say cinematic in a way, right? Uh, you know, very very melodic, if if you will. So um, and like I've, as I've always addressed, check my prior videos. I've always talked about you know melodies and being melodic and, you know, playing, you know, like, like I said before, manage of the heart. Right. So, uh, so I'm gonna give another example. Okay. So I've seen this. I'm gonna give an example that I've seen in the wrong way. So you playing, I've gotten up and people play grooves and stuff. I'm talking about like a, <laughs> like a, a D'Angelo groove or something. <laughs> and I'm talking about like getting up to preach, you know what I'm saying? So I've gotten up now, don't get me wrong, you can actually take some of that R&B stuff and you can make it, you can make it, you know what I'm saying? You can make it sound good. Your first but, scripture coming up, you playing how does it But feel? how does it, it don't feel? work that way, brother. It doesn't really <laughs> work. Uh, but I've seen people play grooves and stuff and I'm like, uh, and so give, give a prime example. I'm going to show, we're going to do the wrong way real quick. Okay. So everybody turn to Psalms 23, King James Version. Mm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Now think about that. There was no flow to that at all. <laughs> Here I am. I'm trying to give one of the most famous passages of scripture and for whatever reason <laughs> it's i mean it's absolutely terrible first of all let me just say pj morton pj morton is amazing let me say that but don't <laughs> don't stop playing this we got to stop playing this stuff in church. i do it so that's my life <laughs> <laughs> oh man go through your phone is the song that's it really is but no um yeah so let's say i'm getting up and now i'm reading king james version psalms 23 and we're going to make this scripture come to life psalms 23 king james version 
The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. If you notice that time, it flowed to where it touched the heart of the people. The other one, we didn't know whether to focus on the words of the preacher or focus on the words of, or focus on the playing of the piano player. What happened this second time around when we did it the right way, it was basically unison. Everything I said, he may come to life and we became one. So therefore, the piano wasn't a distraction, but it actually enhanced. And that's what we have to get to in worship, is that we have to be able as musicians to enhance whatever's being said. Now, I want to take for example, because that's one example, but let's just say there's announcements going. A lot of times as musicians, that's our time to kind of, you know, we, we shed a little bit. I, I, I played for many years in church before I started pastoring, and during the announcements, that was my time to kind of, you know, give a little shit, because during those times, you might hear some jokes being thrown, people playing and stuff, so I'm going to talk as if it's announcements, and I want you to kind of give your spin on it, Maybe when I tell a joke of how you might do something, maybe you might do a run or something while I throw a joke in there. So now we got announcements. All right, uh, next Sunday we got uh, afternoon service. Now you know a lot of y'all don't be coming to afternoon service. <laughs> yeah, y'all know, y'all laughing, but y'all know the ones. Yeah, look at your neighbor, look at your neighbor real quick and say, I'll be there at four o'clock p.m. It's going to be a very special service. It's going to be celebrating the Usher Board's anniversary. Yes, the Usher Board's anniversary. Now, uh, really quick, we want everybody, we're not asking for much, but everybody to donate $10. Now, come on now. Now, look, Brother Johnson looked at me real quick like $10. Pause real quick. You see how it got serious when you start talking about money. <laughs> <laughs> man. You, when they start talking about money, put that pad in there. Man, man. So, Brother Johnson, now you looked at me funny about that $10, but for the church anniversary, we asked everybody to give 75 a member. For the ushers ministry, we can do 10. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do $10, uh, and that's next Sunday, 4 p.m., but that Saturday before, I want y'all to keep Sister uh, Marie in, in prayer. Sister Marie, she lost her brother and the funeral services will be held here. The wake will be from 10 to 12 and uh, immediately following the wake we will have the funeral starting at 12 p.m. sharp and we ask that you keep Sister Marie in prayer as she goes through and we know that death uh, can be hard on us but the Bible says although weeping may endure for a night joy will come in the so we're asking that you keep her in your prayers that we know, as we know that there's sorrow in her life right now, but we know that joy will come back in. Uh, so with that being said, and we also know that our brother was a believer. We thank God for him being a believer. So we ask that you keep the family in prayer, Sister Marie's family in prayer. Amen. With that being said, we can stand to our feet because we're going to bring the pastor back as it's time to go home. And don't forget the message for today. Amen. Now, if you notice everything he did, there was some light moments, there was some dark moments, there were some happy moments, there were some sorrow moments, but everything I said, he was able to match. As musicians, as you said, we, we have an advantage because we grew up past his children. 
So we understood moments because we was always in church, always recognizing musicians, always understanding what they were doing. So we kind of look have a little bit of advantage, but that's why this video is going to be for free. This is going to be for everybody. So this is free. You can go to the YouTube channel, VA uh, Music Ministry, or Vincent Alexander, however you want to type it in. But this is going to be free because I want people to get this. I think it's too important. So just give some of the songs that you was doing before we actually started this video. You just started playing some different songs. Very tasteful. I'll do like, uh, I will bless the Lord, oh my soul, and I know that it is his blessings of me, for he has done great things. Like stuff like that. Stuff like that. Uh, would you throw a pad in there? Maybe doing some of that? I would. Uh, this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. So I'm going to save Sometimes instead of going back to the one, sometimes you will play. I notice you do like a real so do you'll do a seven three six or instead of going to the one you'll do like a do not pass me by and you'll go like a two four two four six like you'll do a movement. Yeah, so what explain that real quick. Why you might do that sometimes. So okay, first of all, before I explain this move, Gabriel Hatcher the second. He asked for it, so don't get mad at me, because I'm explaining it. <laughs> and making sure Fat Chords, G.J. <laughs> Hatcher, Vincent said it first. I stole it from him, so. <laughs> All right. So just going to get that out the way. So, um, so um, I got this move. This is where I learned it from. I got this move from Gabriel Hatcher Jr., otherwise known as G. Jizzle 05, Fat Chords, however you know him. The dude that, wrote, that co-wrote better. That guy. All right. right. So, yeah, he's like a brother to me, man. Shout out to GJ. Um, so, uh, this move, um, I call it the 2 4 6 one, two move. So, basically, whatever key you in, um, so we'll do it in F. So, um, it really just. So, that's really all it is. So, 2. Four, six, one, two. Um, so the first first chord is gonna be um, all right. So your left hand is gonna be G, D, F. Left hand is gonna be A flat, or I'm sorry, A, B flat, C, F. All right. Uh, next chord. Left hand is going to be B flat, D, F, B flat again. Right hand is going to be C, F, A. All right, going to the six. It's going to be left hand is going to be D, F, A, C. Right hand is going to be E, F, A, C again. All right, it's gonna be F on the bass, E, G, C, E again, G, A, C, E, F, and we're going back to that one again. 
that one chord again. All right, back to the two, I'm sorry. So, um, and I've actually used it a plethora of different ways. Um, I have this song I produced uh, for somebody, um, and uh, the song goes... Uh, same move um, the time is just a little different and we moved it up a minor third so um, there's plenty of ways you can use that move but like I said I call it the two four six one two move um, but we're gonna deem it the fat chords transition because if I don't he's gonna get mad so I don't want to make it mad because I still need him for stuff so <laughs> love you GJ <laughs> hello I'm sorry that's it that's all I got man anything else you want to give to the people um so um just so that way we can avoid me having to get in the comments and actually say what I use um, I'm gonna tell you so the piano I'm using in this video is called the Ravenscroft um, 275 um, it's a software piano I think you can get it um, from UVI or actually, uh, I forget where it comes from, but if you look up Ravenscroft 275, it'll pull up. That's the piano I'm using. It's actually Vince's piano. I gotta stand, because this seat hurts. I'm sorry, I apologize. Nah, uh, <laughs> so uh, normally, if I don't have Ravenscroft, which nine times out of 10, I don't, because I actually don't have it. I use other pianos like uh, from the same company, uh, but they're called like True Keys. So like the True Keys, American, German, and Italian. I use one of those three pianos. Um, I do use Keyscape for piano sometimes, but I'm also a big Power Grand fan. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I do. So um, most of the time, I'm gonna use the Power Grand with the, I have both, I have an MKS-20 and a Roland P330. So I'm always gonna use the EP2 out of both of those. It doesn't matter which one I'm using, I'm using the EP2. So I'm most of the time gonna use a Power Grand and the EP2. Now. Um, since I use, um, since, and I use all my piano sounds come from racks and we'll visit my brother Sheridan Williams church tech page. I think it's called church musician and tech Sheridan Williams, Shanway music. You heard me say, and please send me this clip. So that way he knows, I, so that way he knows I tag him. Um, he has a lot of good information on stuff like this. So, um, what I do is I use my racks for my piano sounds for most of the time. If I can, like in my home church situations. Um, I do that. So then on the keyboard, and this is the most important part, well, is where most of our layers, or like synth sounds, are going to come from for the most part. So um, um, I'll, I'll probably have like a little rose on the first fader. I use, mo I, I love motifs. I'm a motif fan, even though I don't have one at home. I have an RD2000 at home. But the same rule applies. So my first fader is going to be um, like a rose. My second fader would be like either a brass or like flutes or something. And then the two, the two, Patches you really heard me use today. Um, I use um, analog or dark light, dark light as pads, um, and that'll be my third slider. And then my fourth slider is I use bells. So um, a lot of people use J pop bells from the motif. It's called J pop bells, but um, and I do use J pop sometimes. But um, my preferred bell of choice, and like I said, you can take this down. Um, you know, uh, whenever I do, uh, cause I, I do play auxiliaries for, you know, certain records as well. Um, whenever I do use bells, um, my favorite bells, uh, are the D50, the, the D50 stack out of the Roland JV 1080 or twinkle inside of the motif. So, um, for any questions or for any questions or concerns about sounds that I've been using, cause I've gotten a couple comments asking me, um, on the prior videos that I've used of what sounds I was using, those are the sounds. So now, you know, um, you ain't got to comment no more because now you know. So if you got any other questions concerning sounds, gear, anything like that, hit up Vincent. Tell him to bring me back. I don't know. Maybe we do an episode. It'd be another video. <laughs> what to use in church. Because we tired of using it. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> but no, nah, guys, that's all I got for today. Peace out.